How's it going guys? It's me Simon and today I'm going to show you how to fix your Joy-Con drift at home today with this simple method. So people have been tearing down their Joy-Cons to find out what is causing the issues to make the Joy-Cons drift. And they've come up with two things, two main things that have caused this. So excessive play of using the Joy-Cons have worn down the contact. In that case people have replaced the analog stick the whole stick just taking it out and put a new one in and Nintendo are repairing them as well but there's a second thing that may have caused it after some people have opened up their Joy-Cons they found that inside the Joy-Con just underneath the thumbstick there is lots of dust and dirt and that may be causing it. So guys let's take a look at a Joy-Con and how we can fix the drift so if we lift up the thumb stick you can see there's a plastic cap that we can lift up and all the contacts are underneath for the analog stick and how easy it is to just push this open and you can see all the dust around it anyway that can get in there and interrupt with the contacts and cause your Joy-Con to drift. We're going to use some isopole alcohol you can just buy this off Amazon or whatever but this is my from my 1UP card cleaning set which I use to clean my N64 games this is 99% isopole alcohol and we're going to take a q-tip all we're going to do is take a little bit of this alcohol don't worry guys isopole alcohol won't damage your joy-con controller I use it to clean my N64 games all the time just like this So just get your Q-tip with some isopole alcohol and get it in underneath that cap. Try and get it all round inside. So guys, once you've cleaned it with the isopole alcohol, give it a few rotations to make sure it gets all the way inside, like clockwise, anti-clockwise, whatever you want really. And then we're going to leave it to dry for like five minutes. So guys, once you've cleaned your Joy-Cons and you feel that they're dry, about, I've gave it about 5 minutes, go to your system settings, we're going to do some calibrating, so go down to controller sensors, down, calibrate control sticks, and then we're going to press the left stick, and then hit X to calibrate, so let's do some calibrating, so match it up with the line, let it fling back. And then release and rotate. Calibra calibration is complete. So, guys, hopefully, I've helped you fix your Joy Con drift on your Switch. If not, then I think you've got more of a mechanical problem and that the contacts inside your analog stick have worn down. I suggest you contact Nintendo support and they should offer to fix that for you. If you enjoyed this video guys leave me a like and consider becoming a subscriber for more content like this. Thank you for watching and peace out. So guys you've made it to the end of the video why not check out another one. I've got some Breath of the Wild glitches and also if you enjoy Pokemon card openings I've got those too. Peace.